Sea urchins are one of the most visible and fascinating marine animals. Its bright color is sure to catch the eye. Sea urchins come in many colors from purple to red to green etc. The sea urchin is quite small, between 3 and 10 centimeters in diameter. On the other hand, the largest known species of sea urchin has a diameter of about 36 centimeters. Out of all the facts about sea urchins, this one can definitely save your life. If you ever see a flower hedgehog underwater, you better run. If you want to know fun facts about animals all around the world that you know or have not seen before, start now by subscribing in 10 Animal Facts channel and clicking on the bell, so you don't miss anything let's continue. Why? The venom of a hedgehog is deadly and can kill a human, their venom contains a substance called pedotoxin, which can cause anaphylactic shock, convulsions, and death. If a human or animal steps on or touches a hedgehog, its spines may also break off or penetrate its flesh. Oh! Most sea urchins are found in warm ocean waters, hanging out on the rocky seabed near coral reefs or kelp beds. Mortal as they are, did you know they only have five teeth, their teeth are located in the center of their body. Sea urchin teeth are made of calcium carbonate, each with its own jaw set in a circle in the center of its body. What are you eating? Sea urchins feed primarily on algae found on rocks or reefs. They also feed on debris or decaying material from fish or the sea creatures. Do you like what you just read? Learn more about these interesting animals with these 40 facts about sea urchins. Modern science knows about the existence of about 950 species of sea urchins in the world. Sea urchins live to a depth of 5 kilometers under the sea. Most sea urchins are about 7 centimeters in diameter. The largest sea urchins can be up to 36 centimeters in diameter. The smallest sea urchins are only about 3 centimeters long. Sea urchins have a distinctive appearance. They have a rigid body, usually spherical. Encased in a hard protective shell surrounded by spikes, the length of the spine varies from species to species, but all sea urchins can move their spines to varying degrees. As larvae, sea urchins have bilateral symmetry, meaning they can split their body in two that mirror each other. Later, however, as adults, they develop five-fold symmetry, meaning they can divide their body into five parts that mirror each other. After watching the video to the end, what is the new information for you about this creature? Write it in the comments let's continue. Sea urchins have their mouths on the underside of their bodies and their anus on top. However, some sea urchins have different shapes, such as the sand dollar, which is oval in shape. They also have a domed torso and a flat bottom, which makes it easier for them to burrow on the ocean floor. Sea urchins are actually several hundred meters long. Move.in fact, they have what scientists call tube feet, small, highly flexible appendages that move in and out of their shell very quickly. Tubular feet pump in and out of their bodies, pushing the rest of their bodies across the seabed. Since a sea urchin's tube feet and backbone look so similar, it's not surprising that people often get them mixed up. This creates the illusion that a sea urchin is using its spines to move. Scientists call the mouth of a sea urchin the Aristotle lantern. The name comes from the Greek philosopher and scientist Aristotle, who described the mouth of a sea urchin in his book, History of Animals. In particular, he described a sea urchin's mouth as looking like a horn lamp, only without the crystals. He never really intended to describe the sea urchin's mouth in this passage, instead, Aristotle actually described the entire sea urchin, which resembled the lamps used in Greece at the time. However, the term Aristotle's lantern is still used among scientists to refer to the mouth of a sea urchin. Sea urchins have a simple nervous system. For one, they don't actually have a brain, instead their nerves radiate through their body from a neural ring around their mouth. They have five main nerves that follow their body's water vascular system. Moving water through, in and out of their bodies, all other nerves branch off from these five nerves and go to the sea urchin's mouth, spine, and walking legs. This allows the sea urchin to control its limbs and other important body parts and give them a sense of touch. They also have small organs called Esporidia located right next to their main nerves. These organs give the sea urchin a gravitational sense of direction, which is very important for balance since their bodies are generally spherical. 
they also have a simple method of reproduction. Sea urchins are still divided into two sexes, but you can't tell without opening them first. Mating season usually occurs in spring, and sea urchins simply shed their eggs and sperm in the surrounding water. Therefore, fertilization occurs independently of the parents, and the embryos usually develop within the first 12 hours. As the embryos develop into larvae, they swim and float in the water while feeding on phytoplankton. Slash p, it takes several months for a larva to develop into a juvenile, and the juvenile sea urchin sinks to the seafloor while its carapace grows and hardens. It then takes up to five years for a hatchling to fully develop into an adult, although it can reach sexual maturity in as little as two years. Its entire body also serves as a single compound eye. Here is an amazing example of facts about sea urchins. Light-sensitive cells actually cover the entire body, much like the retina of an eye. They are particularly concentrated around the mouth, spine and feet of sea urchins. Surprisingly, sea urchins do not like light and will actively move away from a light source. In fact, they even look for a dark place to hide, e.g., b, under an object or in a kind of gap. Scientists believe this behavior may have led to an evolutionary adaptation of sea urchins to avoid predators. Sea urchins have preferences when it comes to their habitat, in a surprising twist on this list of sea urchin facts. Did you know that sea urchins prefer to reside in dry areas of the seabed rather than thriving regions rich in underwater plants? Even then, sea urchins congregate in shallow water unless the water proves to be particularly turbulent. They then migrate to deeper water, with a few exceptions such as the sea urchin, which can cling to a rock to avoid being tossed by the waves. And although sea urchins live all over the world, they prefer temperate to warm temperatures, such as those found in temperate and tropical regions. Sea urchins are omnivorous. Algae are their staple food, be it simple phytoplankton, seaweed and more complex forms of algae. However, sea urchins often supplement their diet with meat, mostly from the sea. Cucumber. They also eat other animals such as starfish, sponges, different types of shellfish and even worms. Sea urchins can suffer from various diseases. Scientists still wonder if sea urchin disease outbreaks are a natural occurrence or if they are the result of a side effect of human development. Sea urchins that took place in the 1980s. This took the form of a bacterial spot disease wiping out juveniles in Japan, which came in two forms. First, a cold water disease that occurred in winter, and second, a hot water disease that occurred in summer. Today, the most common disease affecting sea urchins is what scientists call bald urchin disease. A bacterial infection, that gets its name from how it causes a sea urchin's spines to fall off. It also causes sores to break out all over the body of an infected sea urchin. They also have many predators. These include crabs, lobsters, otters, and various fish, all of which possess properties to circumvent a sea urchin's defenses. This defense typically includes the sea urchin's spines, which in some species may contain venom, nevertheless, crabs and lobsters simply use their pincers to literally snap off a sea urchin's spines before opening them. Power to simply push a sea urchin's spines. Their strong jaws and sharp teeth allow them to easily crush a sea urchin's shell before reaching inside. Sea urchins can injure people. Their spines are sharp enough to pierce human skin, causing puncture wounds that could become infected. Worse, sea urchin spines often break off and become trapped in the person who just stung them. Difficult to remove, even for medical professionals. The spikes can actually break further into the wound, causing more pain to the patient. And while sea urchin venom has a mild effect on most people, some people actually have venom. This causes a severe shortness of breath reaction which can be fatal without medical attention. The flower hedgehog in particular is particularly dangerous for humans. It is typically found in the Indian Ocean and Western Pacific and gets its name from its flower-like appearance. Unlike other sea urchins, the flower urchin has short, blunt spines, but that doesn't make it any less dangerous. The danger comes from the two types of poisons that the hedgehog has, the former affects the nerves and blood, but is not particularly dangerous on its own. Conversely, the second poison is not poisonous per se, but works to make the first poison even more poisonous. Toxic, 
can cause anaphylactic shock and even death. In fact, the flower urchin was named the most dangerous sea urchin in the world by the Guinness Book of Records in 2014. Clownfish, however, can become immune to hedgehog poison. They do this in the same way they immunize themselves against the sea anemone. As they recover, they develop resistance and the clownfish rubs the hedgehog longer and longer until the poison no longer attacks it. However, clownfish have a different reason for developing immunity than hedgehogs. Poison, they don't live in it like in sea anemones. Instead, clownfish peck at the sea urchin's shell and eat the microscopic algae and parasites that grow on the shell. Sea urchins can devastate their environment. The sea urchin population is growing out of control thanks to overfishing and hunting by natural predators. Sea urchins destroy the local algae population, resulting in a so-called sea urchin scour, the name can be misleading, however, as a barren wasteland is not actually lifeless. In addition to sea urchins, other animals such as starfish and brittle stars also thrive in a barren wasteland. However, the underwater plant life in a barren sea urchin is virtually non-existent, effectively causing young sea urchins to starve of food. Scientists discovered that studying sea urchins has many applications. The eggs also provide scientists with evidence for studying prenatal development with applications in new tests for deadly diseases. Genetic studies in sea urchins also allow scientists to discover genes normally found only in viruses, genes that may be the cause of foot and mouth disease. Studies of the five-fold symmetry of the sea urchin have also provided evolutionary scientists with information that led to the evolution of not only the sea urchin, but vertebrates in general. What information is the first time you know in this video, write it in the comments. And don't forget to watch the previous videos in the channel, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel to watch the upcoming wonderful videos see you again in the next video.